Welcome to another segment from GRE Services. Today, we're going to talk about one of the uses that we have for our timber bond wood pole repair epoxy. Now in the field, you'll often find that a utility pole has damaged either by a woodpecker or the top of the pole has rotted out. The most, one of the most effective ways to prevent pole top rot is to cap it so that no environmental uh, degradation can take place. Now this particular sample that I hold in my hand here, this was made in 1997. So you can see that over the years, uh, the integrity of the top has um, remained in place. Timber bond was developed to effectively mimic all the natural characteristics that are in wood. It's compression strength, it's adhesion fiber to fiber, and most importantly, the modulus elasticity, basically to mimic its resistance to bending. So that's what makes this a very effective restorative product versus just filling a hole. If you have damage, such as a large woodpecker hole, you can not only fill the hole, but you can bring that, that section of the pole back to its full strength. That's the difference between Timberbond and maybe some other products is that this product actually restores the strength of the pole. Take a look at these videos and see how it's used. As you can see, the top of the pole is compromised, very weathered. What we're going to do is we're going to shave off a good portion of it here, probably two or three inches, get down into some clean wood. Then we're going to drill this vertically, uh, missing the through bolts, obviously, and then we're going to fill that vertical uh, core with the fumigant so that we get the top of this pole uh, actively preserved for the next seven to 10 years. We're then going to top this with the timber bond, basically rebuild, uh, effectively rebuild the top of this. And uh, we're also going to put a couple of uh, stainless steel bands here that will help protect the integrity of this uh, through bolt attachment point. So that's the scope of the work. We'll get started. I just filled the hole, 18-inch uh, hole, uh, with the fumigant. This is a two and a half inch plug. The fumigant is down just about that level. So we will now cap that off. Okay, next phase is we're just going to tape this up to give us a nice um, cap for this, uh, this pole. And so we just start like this. That way we can fill in all these little vertical cracks here. Thanks for a, a wonderful cap. First thing you do is you always get a nice good flow for your tool. Make sure you got a good mix. There we go.
coaxing anything out of it. Tiverbond comes in two cartridge sizes. We have the 1500 milliliter cartridge here, the larger one, and we also have the 600 milliliter cartridge size uh, for uh, use with a small handgun. This cartridge, you use a large um, battery powered application tool. Uh, as you saw in our videos there in the field, how we were able to effectively remove all of the weather damage, it's normally called paint brushing, and then uh, replace it with a, a good uh, cap of timber bond. Very effective way of extending the life of the pole, especially the pole top, uh, to maintain the integrity of all the through bolts and every other attachment that you have at that elevation. So, another good example for one of our products here, uh, timber bond. And it comes in two different viscosities. This one is a little bit um, runnier, uh, less viscous than, the, uh, than the, the green label. But all in all, great application for um, high strength epoxy. Thank you very much.